There guys and welcome to the channel. I've been sent another couple glass teapots to try. I'm going to do one in this video. I'm going to do this one in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cup of tea in this on the hob and I'm going to make a cup of tea normal and then I'm going to see if there's a difference in taste between them and then see what we think. This one I'm going to be doing a, another experiment. It, does, it doesn't say anything about it on this, so if it fails, it's not this device's fault. I'm going to be putting milk in here, and then inside, and then inside this little tray, I'm going to put chocolate powder. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if the chocolate powder, once it's going to get wet, it's going to get gloopy and all going to get stuck in here. That could be the case, but I'm just boiling just boiling milk or whether it would manage to infuse I don't know we're gonna try it and find out but that is gonna be on the next video but for this video we're just gonna be making a cup of tea in the smaller pot so let me take you in the kitchen and let's get boiling right here we are let's get the glass kettle on and let's start boiling So we're gonna boil the kettle like that. I spoke to the company, they said that all of their glass teapots can be heated up on the stove, which is fantastic, because if I show you inside my normal kettle, which I think everyone has inside their kettle, all those bits floating in the bottom there is not great. With this, it's so easy to, to wash and clean out as well, so you don't have to worry about all the lime scale that's involved in it. But we're gonna do a taste test to see which one tastes better. Does it taste better like that, using the infuser? Or does it taste better just making a normal cup of tea? So we're gonna see and find out. There we go, it is boiling on the stove. Gonna give it a second and then take it off, and then we're gonna give it a try. Let's see if I can touch the handle or not. I'm not sure. Oh, the handle. The handle can be can be touched. How amazing is that? That that that's pretty decent. Really pretty decent. Right, here we have it. First, let's pour our water in this one. So we've got our water in that one. Right, let's try from here. I will leave the, the link in the description for these, for you to, if, if you so choose to, you can get one for yourself. Um, yeah, I think these are absolutely amazing. Like, now I know you can put them on the stove. Oh, yeah. But yeah, again, I'm not paid for this. So my, my review is gonna be a proper review. Pretty hot. Right, let's get some milk in here. E, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Even if they taste exactly the same, I still really like this one because, like I said, it's so easy to clean. You just, if if you're having a British version, you just pop your tea bags in that little filter, and then pour your drink and pour pour out your your tea. You know, that's it. Whereas on a kettle, you have to then put your tea in the tea bag, pour the, the, the thing in there and stuff. So yeah, what's brilliant about this is it's exactly the same as a, tea, uh, a kettle. 
You want to boil water to make yourself a pot noodle, for example, you can just fill this with water. You don't have to put anything in the filter at all. You don't even have to have the filter inside the device, neither, um, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, I do, I do rate it. And like I said, it's easy to clean after. I believe it's dishwasher safe as well. So, yeah, it's simple. And you don't have to worry about all those little bits. Those, uh, all the lime scale at the bottom of your kettle as well. So let's give this a try. Mm. <clears throat> That's quite weak. I don't know if I've drained it out enough. Maybe I should have drained it out a bit more. Mm. You know what? Lovely cup of tea. Um, end result, they are both fairly similar. However, I like the ease, ease of use with, with this one. The fact that you can touch the handle straight off of the hob. You don't have to worry about it being hot and having to get something to hold the handle like you saw in the beginning. I just pulled it off and it was fine. Right, Blue is telling me it's dinner time and he wants his dinner. So I'm gonna end the video there. All right, give me a second, handsome. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. I will leave the link where you can buy these in the description for yourself from Amazon. And I'll see you in the next video. What? Hey? Eh?